Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to the channel. All right, we have a brand new Hero Collector gotcha type game here. This is Attack on Titan Tactics based on the popular anime. So we're gonna go ahead, jump into here, see what this game is all about. I've been playing it for the last few days, and it's pretty fun. It's got some, uh, some uniqueness to it. But first, before we jump into this, if you're just now finding this channel, you wanna stay up to date with the newest in Hero Collectors gotcha games, all the games that we love to play, Consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. All right, <laughs> Attack on Titan. This is kind of an odd anime, in my opinion. I don't know much about it. I have seen a few episodes. It's not something I've really followed closely, but I was interested when I heard about the game. So the game's been out for a few days. And I've been jumping in there and I've been having some fun. It reminds me of the Clash Royale type games. But it does have a little bit of a different spin on that. And we'll take a look at that once we jump into combat. But this is where you start. Now the cool thing about this game is as you work through the introduction, it really does a very good job in explaining to you the battle tactics that you're going to have to use in order to get through your different battles here. It's very cool. There's a bunch of different types of characters. And then at the end of that intro, you're going to have the ability to re-roll on a summon, you get a single summon, and you're, you'll have the ability to re-roll that for whatever character that you want. That's within that pool. The only other game that I can remember that did that was Gate 6, which I thought was pretty cool. So what I did is I went in there, and there's up at the top, when you do your roll up at the top, there's a little info button. You click on that, it'll, it'll show you the cards that are available. And uh, the highest star count cards that there are are five star. So I just kept re-rolling until I got a five star. It didn't matter to me which five star I got because I, new to the game, don't have a really good idea of what's good and bad in this game yet. However, I just kept re-rolling until I got that five star. And it probably took, I don't know, I think it probably took a few minutes, maybe 10 or less rolls, and I was able to get a five star. So it wasn't too bad. It's one of the easiest re-rolls that you can do in a gotcha game, which is pretty cool. So then once I got that, um, I just kind of started flowing through the game. And actually, it says character right here. You see her on the right here, blonde hair. She's uh, She also is a leader, which is really cool. So let's just go through the different things here. So this is your base. Uh, here's the barracks where you can take a look at your deck. And here's the deck that I'm currently using right now. And this character right here, let me go ahead and open her up. There we go. She's the one that is the five star that I got. And as you can see, you can get all the way up to a six star. And this is a screen where you can go ahead and progress your character. So you got professional enhancements here, proficiency enhancements, I'm sorry, um, here. You've got your leveling up and then you have your awakening and your limit breaks which is pretty cool as well. And it gives you, I mean, these types of screens here is what pops up to really give you an idea of what's going on in the game and what what everything in this game is. You know, some games leave, I, I haven't noticed it in this one, but some games leave a lot to be desired when it comes to knowing more of the intricacies of the game itself. And this game does a very good job in letting you know what this game is meant to do. All right. So those are some of the characters that I have. Uh, you have unit development up here, where you go in there. Here's all the different cards too. All the different units that we can unlock. There's a lot here. Now, those of you who are familiar with the game, I'd be interested to know if this is, uh, if this is cool to you or not, or if this is something that you're really interested in, it, if the story follows follows the anime. It does from what I've seen. I just don't know where in the storyline, because I know there's a few seasons out for this. But just be kind of interested to hear from Attack on Titan fans out there. All right. And then we have the gotcha up here. You you have different type of gotchas. Uh, you have the plaza. But uh, let's see. If we go over to here, here's our missions. These are your daily missions, your normal missions. These are your event missions. These are the things that you do on a daily basis to collect materials and things like that for your summons and for developing your characters and everything. So pretty typical right there. Now, let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and jump into a story battle, jump right into combat, show you what this is all about. These are the different areas I've worked through. And as you can see, you can three-star these different areas. Let's go ahead and jump into here. And to know what you need to do to three-star, you hit objectives. And most of it is this. It's finishing within a certain amount of time. So if I finish within 50 seconds, I'm going to get all three of those. 
but it gives you let's go back here for the details here so it gives you your possible rewards and everything so and then uh, yep skip tickets down there you can get skip tickets in this game as well let's go ahead and start battle prep here's my team now you do also have the ability to name your squads and then you and then have multiple squads in this game so I haven't built out these other squads yet as I said I'm pretty new to this right now so this is what I'm currently using all right and here's a battle oh cool <laughs> these things man these titans they're a little freaky I tell you <laughs> my daughter-in-law she calls them Ken dolls all right so um, you have your assault characters here so let's go ahead I'm gonna throw out a couple of assault characters well I'll throw out this one this is the five star she does such huge amounts of damage We'll see how well she does against this guy right here. I think this might be one of the end phases. Let's go ahead and throw another assault character out there. But the cool thing, the reason why this is a little bit different than your typical... So I'm going to throw this this out there as well. Do some AoE damage. Some. Uh, there we go. Look at that. The, the reason why I say this does things uh, a few things a little bit different to your typical Clash Royale type game is typically you start your units at the bottom and they just move forward up to the top of the screen and take out towers and turrets and things like that and this game here your characters actually go up and down the entire screen you have titans that come from the top as well as from the sides and that was uh that was only one wave we beat all three so we three start it that was kind of quick let's do another battle Get some level ups there. All right, let's do this next one right here. What? It's all time based, right? Yep. So finish within 115 seconds. So we're gonna have multiple waves here. Let's see. What do we have? Does it tell us how many waves here? I don't see it. Do you guys see it? No, I don't see it. Let's go ahead and jump in there. Time limit is six minutes. This is gonna be a, a good one. Ooh, attributes here. Something I haven't seen yet. Attribute effects are unleashed according to the featured attribute of the battle stage or the battle leader skill. Okay, the leader skill. Crimson, blue sky, gold, silver, and jet black. Arrange your deck according to the stage or leader skill to gain the advantage in battle. Very cool. Something to kind of use as a... So, it's, so the attribute is crimson. My leader is crimson, which is cool. Plus, I've got two other crimsons there. So that'll work. I think I'll be okay with this. So a tactic. All right, here we go. So let's get some assault characters out right off the bat. So let's get her out. I love getting the leader out right away. Let's get this guy out here. I think I want one more assault character out there. I'm gonna put this guy out there. And then let's do a turret right here. Let's see. I'm going to put it right there, right in the middle. So that it starts getting these, these titans as they enter the stage. Let's see. Let's do another turret. Let's put it... Uh, let's actually... Let's do it... Oh, completed right there. All right. Let's see. Let's get our Crimson attackers out. Now let's, I'm gonna get this right there. That should be good. Let's get the other attacker out. Now these Titans can actually take you and start eating your fighters and you can rescue them with these, these characters down here. You see that the purple foot looking thing? Oh, we got the boss. We have an ability here. 
of a cannon. Look at nice. Look at how much damage that did. That was pretty cool. Took him down. I didn't know that the cannons had those special moves as well. So when you see it glowing down at the bottom, you need at least five on your move bar down there. And when you see it glowing, you tap it and it flips. And then you can do its ultimate or I can't remember exactly what the game has called that ability, but it's pretty cool. And there is all of our loot, our rewards that we get for that. That was pretty cool. That was a fun one. All right, here we go. Episode details. Let's go ahead and see what this is about. These guys are creepy. Uh oh. And then a reward for playing it back. All right, there we go. And then here's the next one, chapter one, number five. Go ahead and cancel that one right there. And there you go, everybody. That's what I had to show you. Attack on Titan Tactics. You know what? I'm having quite a bit of fun with this one. I wasn't sure if I was going to, uh, just because I don't know a ton about the anime. But you know what? You don't need to know a lot about the anime to enjoy a game. And I really like this. I really like to hear from you anime fans out there of this uh, of this IP. What do you guys think as far as keeping with the storyline and stuff like that? Definitely let me know. And then everybody else, even if you're not familiar with this anime, what do you think of this game? Are you going to try it? All right, as always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everyone, and we'll talk to you next time.